Uh, welcome to Hooked on Linux. And so in an attempt to help people who are not technically savvy like myself discover the best computers to use when creating your Linux operating system, I you know, thought I'd give you a little pointers and what my experience has told me. I'm sure part of the reason why people leave Linux operating systems after joining Linux operating systems is because of faulty hardware and conflicts in that regard. So today, hopefully, we can get through this by going going over some of the best and worst computer systems to install Linux Mint on. If this is the kind of content that uh, you're interested in, you like watching this kind of stuff, please hit that subscribe, like, give me a comment, let me know where you are on your Linux journey, uh, why you use Linux or why you want to use Linux, so we can reclaim our freedom and enjoy our computers again. My very first computer I used was an MSI laptop. Uh, I loved it, I used it, and um, a Windows 10 upgrade completely destroyed it. And um, so when I went to Linux Mint uh, 20 point something on my MSI laptop, I could do a lot of things. It was pretty good, it ran really, really well for the longest time until I tried to run things that weren't really compatible with NVIDIA. Avoid anything that has NVIDIA. And so if you if you are looking at a computer to buy used or new and uh, they feature NVIDIA, then stay away from that because it's nothing but proprietary drivers and uh, kernels and complicated stuff that, you know, just just stay away from it. So that's my first note of advice. Stay away from anything with NVIDIA. That's, mind you, I'm, and I'm gonna put this out there right now. So this is purely an opinion piece. It's purely my opinion based on my experience and my conversations with other people that have uh, similar interests. So with that in mind, let's keep going. So avoid NVIDIA. Uh, that was one. Mac computers. You can try them. Apparently Mac has got a Unix base uh, to their operating system, but but uh, Apple machines are specifically designed to run Apple only software. There you go. I'm not I, you can't say it any any planner. Some people have had some success with uh, operating Macs with certain distributions but for the most part if you have a choice stay away from Mac that's my opinion based on conversations that I've had <laughs> with all these other people and uh, I think on a lark one day I'm gonna try it uh, but I haven't had the opportunity yet if anybody out there's actually tried a Mac uh, put it to Linux distribution, like a popular distribution. I'm not talking about some obscure distribution that, you know, you have to be a rocket scientist in order to navigate through. I'm talking about a regular, everyday user distribution like Linux Mint or Ubuntu or uh, Fedora or, you know, Zorin, those ones. Those are like the ones that people would generally use, right? Okay. So we'll go to HP. Now, I put Linux on an HP. I put a dual boot system going from Windows 7, I think, or Linux Mint on an HP. And there's some ups and downs with HP. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It has something to do with the booting system that an HP has and that HPs are primarily designed to accept Windows um, and so it worked sometimes other times didn't work had some boot issues other times not boot issues ignored um, and so uh, it was it was not reliable to boot from so eventually and like I'm looking over here at my wife's I'm looking sorry I'm looking over the camera at my wife's desk where she's got an HP pavilion and this is the one that just stopped booting Linux altogether. 
It does, doesn't even show up on the boot menu. And so it just decided one day that I've had enough of Linux and shut them off. So that computer is going to get an overhaul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's all i got to say about HP. Um, if it works for you, it works. If it doesn't work, don't sweat it. Just And, and don't fight it. Just get rid of it. Um, a lot of these used computers, any computer that's eight years old or older, is worth is worth fifty dollars tops. That's it. Don't pay any more for them. They're 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 you know they're door stops at that point, but they're more than sufficient to run um, Linux operating systems. Okay, so you're you're receiving this video produced on a Dell uh, Dell computers, very compatible with uh, Linux Mint. Um, I'm, I'm using one right now, an XPS uh, 8500. Works great, love it, uh, fast, uh, efficient, and all that good stuff. Doesn't give me a problem. Runs nice and quiet in the background. I had no problem with Linux Mint on it. I've also run Fedora on it. I've run Zorin on it. I've run Ubuntu Studio on it. And I'm having a great time with it. So uh, that one is strongly recommended. It's really quite awesome. And you can get these things for a song. Any any used computer that's for sale on the on the market, anything older than eight years old is not going to cost you more than fifty bucks. And uh, you can get some really, really crazy crazy systems for fifty bucks. Um, especially now, since people are throwing away their Windows 10 computers that are only four or five years old because they are not compatible with Windows 11. Uh, you can get some used, good used computers for song. And if you can get a Dell, Dell's great. Yeah, get right into that one right away. Okay. And Lenovo. Oh, I'm going to end with Lenovo because apparently this is the cat's ass when it comes to computers that are capable of running Linux distributions. They have the power. They have the whatever it is in the, 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 the structure, the BIOS, the boot system, the hardware, whatever it is. Uh, Lenovo is 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 kicking kicking butt all over the place for Linux operating systems. If you have a have a Lenovo kicking around, if you can get a hold of one, especially one coming out of an office or whatever, Lenovo is like top of the line stuff, uh, and they run Linux like a dream. So to wrap it up, avoid uh, HP, Mac, and anything with Nvidia, and keep your eyes open for Dell computers and Lenovo computers. I hope this helps if you're, you know, trying to get a system going. If that's helped you in any way today, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, send a comment. Let me know where you are in your, in your Linux adventure. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me. We'll talk to you soon.